With so many different types of fertilizers available to homeowners, it's important to understand that there are two distinct types of fertilizers we can use in a landscape situation. Slow release fertilizers are actually fertilizers that will release nutrients over an extended period of time as compared to a quick release fertilizer which dissolves very quickly in the soil and nutrients are readily available. There are many forms of slow release fertilizers such as organic materials, compost and manure make uh, great forms of slow release fertilizers. You can also buy professionally packaged products such as this feather light and bone meal that will release nutrients over an extended period of time. It's best to use a slow release fertilizer for most of our applications during the growing season. During the fall period, as turf is readying for winter, it's okay to use a quick release source because this will add energy to the root system and make it available quickly as the plant is entering dormancy. The biggest difference between a slow release fertilizer and a quick release fertilizer is the timing in which the nutrients will be available. A slow release fertilizer will make nutrients available over an extended period for up to two months, whereas a quick release fertilizer is going to make nutrients available for only about a period of two weeks. It's important to use slow release fertilizers during the majority of the growing season. The one exception to that is in late fall when we're fertilizing turf grasses. We prefer that we use a quick release fertilizer in the fall on our turf so that the turf is able to pick up the nutrients quickly before it enters fall dormancy. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.